we don't have time to really dwell on things because we're moving right into the next game. It's going to be BV versus Amaryllis. Amaryllis who kind of snatched victory from Noku in the last set we saw him in. Uh, he's up against VV now, who is known for snatching victories himself, yeah, for this, sure. This is the character to do it with, for sure. All right. So the thing about the neutral on this, right, is this is somewhat similar. Bayonetta doesn't really have it that much with Witch Time, but there's the factor of, oh yeah, you know, if I make a mistake, I might eat a Bayo back here, or I might eat a command grab, and then I'm dead. The difference is that Lucario kind of thrives a little bit when he's at that kill percent, and there's a lot of options and conversions to go for. Bayonetta kind of has to work to make a scenario where she can get that. Yeah, and oh, massive forward smash. BB not even at that high percent, managing to take it. He's a big plus for him. Oh, that up air's not going to kill. That up air's never going to kill him, even at like <laughs> 150. Oh, now he's oh. dead. No, oh, no, the wrong dead. direction. All right, I do like a little bit of weight on that one. VV with a lot of aura, actually, maybe not having the uh, conversions off of grab that he would normally have at low aura. All right, patience. Not committing to any option right there at a high percent, and there is time to wait. Oh, nice. The, with these aura spheres, the movement options themselves are just making it difficult for Amaryllis to pin him down. And 144% on Lucario is certainly scary. A great dash attack that's actually going to take the stock, meaning that Amaryllis can breathe a little bit easier. Not necessarily that easy because, you know, he's still almost at 100 and Lucario, with the proper read, can kill. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And we did see actually there... Um, <laughs> Okay, this is... Yeah, this is fine. Oh, that is a big punish. No, wait, Dad! Oh, I mean, Lord. Th he comboed him, took him to 80. You fool. Now he's, <laughs> now you're at death percent. Yep, and now we do have some aura building up as Emerilis goes in with a squishy character. She's got the butterfly wings for a reason, and you don't want to eat this extra percent when you're a stock behind. Oh, that's punishable. Oh, yeah. For certain, and oh, looking for the actual punish. I think that that's, once again, both calling out maybe a roll onto stage, as well as that afterburner kick off of the ledge. You know, it's a great option, but if people really know they can hard commit to punishing it, you, I mean, you've seen already, Emeralds just blows up. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And the thing about it, too, is that it's a great commitment because the hitbox is good, but that does not matter when you have a projectile that has no hurtbox attached to it. Ooh, wow, look at the drifting. The back and forth from Vivi lets him land. I, and I am not certain. I think Vivi traded with the Smash with an aerial landing. I'm not 100% sure. With the Smash? What do you, which one? So, Bayonetta's Smash attack, I don't know if it's the same as Corrin, but I think it's got low priority. Oh, no, maybe that... Yeah, okay, I, that so, might have just been that the hitbox was already yeah, gone. Yeah, can we, well, we should be able to see them clank, but I mean, I think yeah. it would hit, oh no, it hit the, I think it hit the aura sphere, mm -hmm. and because it hit the aura sphere, that was a clank. Yep, she's got low priority on those smash attacks. Again, like Corrin, if you toss out a move and the hitboxes is there, it doesn't really win out, which you wouldn't expect for a giant fist. Gonna see, I really like the sharking here on the platform on this one, making it difficult to come down, and it's kind of scary landing against Bayonetta with ABK. So far, this is a much better start for Emeralds, able to get some damage and not really get taken for a ride himself, but nonetheless, this is still, ooh, it's very scary. One single mess up leads to this damage, and uh, you need having a damage buffer against a high, you know, percent Lucario just makes things feel so much better. Pull that was in green and clutch on that one. That was not death, but that was a continuing bad situation. Ooh. All right. Wow. Oh, because Ooh. she was in lag from I think all of the uh, the specials that she did. Mm-hmm. Yep. It is a lot more lag in this game than in Smash Four. Oh, so that actually does cover spot dodges. If you don't get the command grab, the hitbox comes out late enough that it will still clip you. Very strong move if you're expecting that on the defense. Ooh. And, 
This is one of those points where things start to get really hairy for Amaryllis. He needs a stock taken immediately, but Bayo can kind of struggle to do that. A back air would be nice. A dash attack, as we've seen before, can work, but not going to have an opportunity for any of those. Those Aura Spheres are just too big, man. That Aura Sphere was so fat, I think the ABK lost to it coming in from the front. That's kind of whack. Low percent on this one. This does mean Lucario has the chance to rack up some combo percent. All right. Ooh, nice SDI, making sure to get himself to the right of that uh, whole Witch Twist combo. I think that meant that they ended up taking less damage than they possibly could have. Playing out the neutral a little bit on this one. A lot of zigzagging. Yeah, no, both of these characters kind of have that zigzagging movement. You know, for Lucario, it's these B reverse wave bounce aura spheres. And for Bayonetta, it's just, you know, her standard special moves. And so you see them going back and forth in the air, trying to find, you know, an opening. And, oh, I actually really do like the trap right there, baiting out the air dodge and punishing. Oh, the counter will 100% kill. Very good. Yeah, that uh, counter, by the way, it not only does it auto lock, but it, um... It is not based on the strength of the move that he connect that connected with him. Oh, it really? is based on his own aura. Oh no, yep. that's really good. Chill. Still, granted, a risk as all counters are, but paying off from VB. And now we're looking at dividends. 52% on this one with a stock lead, and Lucario is growing an aura. And not only that, he's at 119. Doesn't even have to be that scared of what Amaryllis can do. Amaryllis has not shown really a potential for any stocks. I knew it was coming five seconds before, and I'm like, there's going to be a Hail Mary kill option, and he's at the ledge. It's going to be ABK to back air. And not only that, there was some <laughs> absolutely atrocious DI from Vivi. He yeah. was holding forward for the forward smash, and that sent him like, that was the Bermuda Triangle DI, like all the way to the bottom right corner. Oh, no. Well, still, even at this low percent here, this is a scary place to be. If Amaryllis can't get a lower percent, you not only have to contend with a fresh stock, but a fresh stock on a character who gets more deadly the more you hit him. This is a good place to be. You fool, you've done damage to him. <laughs> now you're at death percent. If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I, I said it, and I'm sorry. <laughs> He did damage to him and gave him kill power. Mm -hmm. I don't that back air wouldn't have killed if you didn't combo him to 80. I'm just saying. I mean, that's the thing though. You could say like, well, you know, if I hit Lucario, why am I even playing? What if I put down the controller and maybe he'll he'll find his way into I, his magic? I think something. that was a misinput. Also, <laughs> looking at it again. I mean, it was a, the, what was that which time supposed to be covering? Well, if it was close to the landing on that one, that covers. Well, uh, we can take a look at the replay. Mm -hmm. Um because it seems like it was very far away. I don't even know if there was an out-of-shield option that could have landed. I, I think, think that was a misinput. I think that it could have been. That might also have been a cover because the ABK is not, I mean, it's not plus. It's hard to punish, but it's at that situation where uh, Vivi might have come up and swung back. And that might have been to cover that preemptively, like, oh, this is where Vivi's going to come in and start this offense. Um, but it may have also been a misinput. Again, it's very common for Bayonetta to use uh, Witch Time while landing because it cancels out the animation that adds on to you as you use your specials in the air. Um, but it was a Fun. commitment that sealed it. Fun.